Ah, ah, ah. Quiet now, human. No more of your caterwauling. Are you going to be good? Or do I need to cut things short? Prematurely. That's it. Quiet down. Aww. And I guess you can be good at something. I'm almost impressed by just how much noise you can make from behind that gag. Do you have practice communicating while gagged, human? <laughs> Interesting. You should be harder to break then. This might actually be fun. Look at that confused face. Do I not match your expectations of some serene, wise old elf in fine clothes, passively observing nature and writing poetry? You humans and your stories. You're so good at tricking yourselves about the world around you. Creating fiction, passing it down, and then preserving that fiction from generation to generation. Until eventually it crosses from myth to your true perception of the world. It would almost be funny if it wasn't so ignorant and self-deluding. You know, there's something... Pretty, about the way you look all chained up, adorned in silver, just tight enough that I can see the skin underneath constricting and reddening, the slight jingling with every movement, like a bell on the collar of a disobedient pet. For example, if I was to get too close. <laughs> there it is. That fear in your eyes. Terrified of what just a few inches between you and I is preventing. It's a futile effort, of course. If. Well, not if. When I want to harm you. You couldn't really get away. Not really. Those chains may feel loose enough for movement. But I haven't given you enough slack to go more than a few feet in any direction. Not to mention, not enough for you to weaponize against me. In case your racing little mind had landed on that possibility. I've been doing this for a long, long time, before even your parents' parents were born, and believe me, I have made every mistake carelessness could allow, and yet, here I still am. So what do you think are your chances? when so many before you could not escape. Shh, 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 don't cry. Not yet. I have no use for premature tears. Trust me, the time for crying will come. I'm looking forward to it. But don't ruin my appetite just yet, my little masterpiece. Don't shrink away. I merely want to brush away those tears to keep my canvas clear. You have such nice, soft skin. Do you like it when I slowly trace my fingertip down your cheek, trailing down from your cheekbone to your jaw? To your lips. 
<laughs> oh, did you think I was just going to caress your face like a lover? And that I would be suddenly beset by feelings for your pretty, pretty face? I keep my nails sharp for a reason, dearest human. Shh, 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 shh. stop screaming. You're only going to make yourself hoarse, and that's not going to be pleasant for either of us. No one's going to hear you, not down here. This dungeon has been around longer than most of the city above us. <gasps> you didn't know, did you? We haven't moved far at all from where we first met. That tavern where you came on to me, enamoured by my silky hair and pretty complexion. You know, I've found it's a lot easier to catch you humans when you come to me yourselves. It saves a lot of wasted energy giving chase. All it took was humouring your advances, offering you a drink and then escorting you to your new home. The streets are right above us, between the feet of soil above us and the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. No one is going to hear your cries and screams for help. Which means we can be as loud as we like. No, oh, don't lose hope now, little one. It's boring if you give up too fast. Shh, 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 shh. Look me in the eyes. If you lose that fire too quickly, I will end this early. I'm not going to waste my time on a broken human. There's no fun in that. I want to watch the desperation, fear, pain, and hope dance across that pretty face of yours. Mm-hmm. I called you pretty. Do you really think I would have picked out a human I didn't find appealing? I'm not some common or garden slasher. There's meaning behind what I do. You matter. The average human is a nuisance, below notice. Something to be ignored. But you, you're special. You're beautiful, inside and out. That's why I want to immortalize you. See, humans come and go oh so easily. You have such tiny little lifespans. It's like adopting rodents. You blink and you're already six foot deep. That beauty of yours will fade. Your skin and bones will rot. But my memories won't. In my memory, you will be immortalized. Another piece in the gallery of artwork kept within. The sounds you make. The beautiful marks I make. The tactile sensations. That pretty, pretty face of yours and the litany of expressions and emotions that will cross it. That will be your destiny. And I will carry that for the millennia I will live after you. Much as I have for those before you. Shh, 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 shh. There's no saying no to this. This is happening, 
here and now. And I do like the way you struggle though, rubbing your joints raw on your bindings, the sporadic twitching and pushing of your body, trying to pry yourself free. And it's pleasant to watch, but it's not enough. Not even close. I think it's time to begin. Don't you? No. Oh, look at you trying to respond. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. It was a rhetorical question. Now lean back into your chair and let me think about what to do first. Ah, I know. Let's get rid of that shirt. It's in the way. There we go. I like the way it frames your shoulders. But what I really want to do is mark that large empty space on your torso. Hush now, little one. Hold still, or the cuts won't be clean. They'll be ugly and painful, and then neither of us will be happy. There we go. Good pet. Nice and still. Just like that. No. <laughs> Did the cold metal shock you? <laughs> that little flinch as it touched your exposed skin was delightful. Not to mention the little squeal. Can you feel the blade stroking along your skin, just lightly touching it? It's cold touch, leaving no evidence behind. Until with just a little pressure. Look at that, dear human. You bleed so delightfully. With just a gentle shallow cut. I can leave such a satisfying mark. I can snake the blade down from gullet to navel. Drawing a wonderful, sanguine serpent onto that perfect skin of yours. Not too deep, of course. I wouldn't want you to bleed out or fall apart. But just enough that I know it will linger. If I were to keep you down here long enough, it would scar so beautifully, leaving my artwork permanently etched into your form. Shh, 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 I know it hurts, I know it hurts. But you need to hold still, darling human. You wouldn't want an ugly scar, now would you? I thought not. Look at that. The blood is starting to pool on the surface like ink. Do you see this on the tip of my blade, my darling? That's you. Quite a wonderful shade as well. Fitting that you'd be beautiful inside and out. Come to think of it. This discussion of ink gives me an idea. You humans like to write on each other, right? Little reminders of daily tasks on your hands. Instructions for surgeons on a patient. Other, more choice words in the bedroom. And I think I'd like to write some things of my own on that skin of yours. In Elvish, of course. 
lots of tiny little lines, minute little cuts interwoven with each other to create little messages you can't read. But I can. And in the end, that's all that really matters. After all, it will be my memory that you're preserved in. This is my art. In a sense, your form belongs to me. And it will for as long as I continue to live. Long, long after you're gone. Once I'm done playing with you. Once my work is finished. Let's see. How about along this collarbone, right along the bone underneath, hold still, uh, uh, uh. there we go, that wasn't so bad, now was it, pet? The first one is always the most difficult. How about somewhere a little lower? Wouldn't want to leave you top heavy? That would be truly awful practice of me. And I am nothing if not a perfectionist with my work. Perhaps here on your thigh, on the opposite side of your body. This is quite the canvas. Perhaps I'll mark my belonging here property of, well, I don't think you've quite earned hearing my name just yet. The winces and whines you make as you're holding back cries, a delightful darling. Shh, don't look away. Let me look at those eyes. Look. Those subtle tears, the pink in your scleras, you're gorgeous. Although, I think I need to give you a little bit of a break. It's no fun if you break too quickly. Now, deep breaths, stop sniffling. It's an ugly noise unbecoming of you. I want you to look picturesque, not wet and raw. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I told you, this is your break. I'm not going to hurt you again until I'm sure you can take it without shattering. Look at me again, sweetness. Your hair's a mess. Let me get it out of your face. There we go. I'm sure you're asking yourself how someone becomes... Well, this. Tell you what. I'll give you a little backstory while you reconstitute yourself. Sound like a good deal? Good. The world gets boring after enough time. I'm sure if I was to leave you here to marinate in this room long enough, you'd memorize every crack in the wall. The rhythms of water drops, the daily routines of the rats that come in and out. Eventually that familiarity would become torturous. You humans don't live long enough for that to happen on a larger scale, but I have been around for millennia. I am painfully bored, and much like anyone in that position, I crave sensation. Anything to distract myself from the monotony. See, it started with more classical entertainment, music, theatre, 
literature. But after enough time, you run out of unique sounds and stories. Each new performance becomes repetitive, full of the same tropes and tired old patterns. So I moved on to other forms of stimulation. My own feelings, pain, pleasure, but eventually even that grew dull. But you, the way each human experiences, expresses and tolerates pain and other sensations are all unique. You provide ample distraction. But it's also why I won't be keeping you around too long. I will memorize the sounds of your reactions, the way you twinge at the cold metal of my blade, the look of your eyes gazing in fear. And then, well, you'll become predictable. But I don't want to get to that point. Not quite. Better to quit while we're ahead, don't you think? And that's when our time together will end. I will miss you. I think. You are a pretty little thing. And not unkind. I would feel guilty about this, but what we're doing is right. It is for the greater good. I will get more enjoyment out of remembering our time together than you would the rest of your lifespan. But, wow, well, I'm sure such a thing is hard for your little mind to conceptualize. So let us continue, shall we? I believe it's been long enough a break. Look how you've been bleeding while we've been talking. Look at this. It's beautiful. Simply beautiful. I think I will make a few more cuts and let the blood flow as it may. The natural path it takes is more intricate and beautiful than anything I could plan out. So instead, allow me to facilitate. And look at that. The metal's gone cold again. Let's see. A smooth curve along here, just like that, and perhaps branching off of it, streams branching off rivers, all the way down your body. Look, you're so beautiful, a work of art. I want to keep working, but at the same time, I don't want to overcomplicate the pattern and ruin my work. Perhaps I shall add another signature. Every good artist leaves a watermark. How about right here on your side? Mommy's toy with a nice long tail at the end. You're being so still. A good toy. You're learning. But oh, that look in your eyes. If I keep pushing, I think you're going to break. And it's Far too early for that. I've not even seen what pretty scars you'll grow. No, 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 no. 
Not yet. I want you to last. So I think we're done here for tonight. Rest now, my little toy. Heal. Reconstitute your strength for tomorrow. We're going to have so much more fun.